Hello everyone and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Uh, as you remember with all my previous tutorial we are still creating our game. So you can check one of my tutorials where is we make a start window widget. Start window, okay, it's not widget, it's actor. I promised you to make some separate and if you are check my previous tutorial you will found that inside in this window I have everything. I have land, bush, trees, sky, I have everything. And as you remember when I start move all my object moving with same speed without any parallax effect. So it's very simple, I just make a copy paste, put it here, uh, sorry, going back copy, 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 something like that. And for example, here I have only land and bushes and moving speed 1 to 0, minus 1 to 0. Then I make, copy, paste, delete everything and remaining only trees. So, and my speed 100. I create one more actor, whereas I put only mounts. Uh, as you can see, it's not loading, it's not loading and it's taking some time. So now we will try to fix this problem. I think I know how to do it. I will show you, yeah? So I have a mouse and speed for mouse 75, minus 75. And I have last one. Uh, this is, where is this? Somewhere, yeah, clouds. Also it's not loading. And speed minus 50. So, and due to this reason, I have a parallax effect. Yeah, but before to continue, we have to fix our textures. So, we have got to texture. Uh, I think I'll select everything like that. Then make right click and make it edit. So, I have to apply one options. Uh, I didn't know about that, but I asked to some forum some guys and then give for me some some advice what to do. So it should be is textures textures somewhere here. Yeah, never stream, never stream. So I think I have to enable this not stream it maybe maybe it will give me some why it's like this okay we will close again we are going here we are open and make it never stream so and i think like this will be very long time so i will make a pause and continue a little bit later okay finally for you it's coming during two or maybe three seconds but for me it's taking about 10 minutes so now all my texture if i'm going here i have never stream save it and close it so something like that and now if i open any blueprint doesn't matter so something like that uh my inside in viewport i have already this uh, texture in good quality without any uploading uh, so i hope it will work without any problem okay what we have what we have if i start to play we already have music we have some buttons we have everything so uh, if we are start to play we are have very nice loading screen nice gameplay we can jump push spice yes as you remember you see yeah i have now parallax effect in beginning so if you are just first time on my channel Check all my previous tutorial and you can create absolutely same game from scratch, from zero, so from empty page, from empty project. It's, uh, yeah, it's some big job. It's not easy, but it's possible to make if you haven't any experience with game design. So, and what is now my idea? My idea to make like a, like a, some kind of bonuses for this game. So. When I jump and when I'm running, uh, time by time I will have some post, some numbers, some B board with numbers. I have to remember these numbers and collect somewhere. Uh, after that, when I collect all numbers, I plan to make 12 secret numbers, yeah, something like that. When I collect all these numbers, finally, last B board will be you can enter secret code something like that then i can go out to main menu and here 
I will enter secret code. For example, some, I don't know, something like this. Total will be 12 numbers, we can check. It will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Something like this, 12 numbers. Then we are push enter and our game going to secret level. So, uh, what is the idea of secret level? For a moment, I don't know. And maybe I am not posted inside in my this original tutorial. M maybe it will be just like a additional content when you can... Uh, when you can contact me and find it. But uh, how we will do it? First of all, as I can see, I cannot put 12 numbers. So now I will check again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0, and maybe 8 again. Or maybe I can put these numbers. Maybe I can put if I have 1. But if I haven't 1 or 8, no, it's enough. It's enough. So I can put 6. Ah, no. 6. It's 11, yeah? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, yes, it's 11 numbers, so uh, I need a little bit white this uh, window, so I'm going out, going for widgets, uh, as you remember, this is main screen widget, I take this and make it a little bit white, maybe 550, five, maybe something like that, okay, save it and finish, I no need change nothing more. Uh, so also in some of my previous tutorial, you know how to create this widget, you can, you can find. So for this reason, we have jump for create this B board. We have jump, uh, I mean, B board for secret information. Yeah, we can jump to our Cinema 4D. So as you can see, I already create some B board with some text. It can be some numbers. Just a moment. Where is my numbers? Yeah, something like that and some text. As you can see looks like very very nice so now i show you some from scratch how to create it i think it will be very fast i am going for a new project then i create a cube something like that make this cube smaller i don't know maybe 30 centimeter like this maybe only 10 centimeter and i think it is enough then i going for display and display with lines and add some lines first of all i add something like that maybe seven maybe eight lines it's, it's really doesn't matter because uh, i'm not use a 3d graphic i use everything from texture from sprite i create something something maybe like that so that's all after that uh I going for make this cube editable, going for this viewport, take points and take some few points. For example, this I little bit put inside, this put somewhere here, something like that. So it really doesn't matter how you will do it, just a little bit randomize. After that, take and apply for this cube displacer tool. Make like this and put displacer inside. So inside displacer tool, you have two different options. Object, yeah, you have many options, but we have to use two of them. We are going for shading and inside in the shader, we are just play a noise. Nothing more, you see, and now our wood have like this very interesting design so if it's if it's too much for you you are going for object and reduce this high for maybe for five only something like that so it's enough now i take this cube and make a hold counter on keyboard and make a copy make again copy and i think it is enough so also you can go for cube and change i don't know we are going for this view select point and make some, some, I don't know, some additional random. Just to receive little bit randomized, little bit randomized picture. It will be, uh, will be nice view, yeah? Something like that. This is good. And this I put somewhere down. Something like that. So very nice. We are did it going again to perspective and create one more cube it will be like a like a stick or i, I really i i don't know how it's in english 
but I hope you understood what I am doing, yeah. So it will be something like that. No, maybe less, maybe only 15. Good. Just put it down. So I have it. Uh, what I am doing now, now I am going for MoGraph and take a text. Take this text, you see I have this text, and make some number. I don't know, number, number one. So nothing more. And make it middle. Take this number, put somewhere here, and here you have high. Reduce the size, I don't know, maybe we will make something like a 70. And depth, I don't know, I make one centimeter, something like that. So I have it. That's all. Very nice. Or you can make it a little bit more, maybe 90. So we are make a little bit more. You can make it also a uh, bold. Very good. If you like to change this text, so we are going for render settings. We are uh, take effect like before. We are doing everything like before to receive more or less same idea of our game. Yes, we are okay. For final render, we have to take out color, but now I use it. Something like that. Then I create new material. Take this material. Will be some. I don't know. Maybe something like that. Yeah and apply this material for cube, for these woods, and create one more material, which will be white color. I apply this white color, exactly white, or you can make any different colors, blue, violet, it's, it's up to you for this. And when you render, you will get like this result. So as you can see, it's, it's really nice, looks like uh, very interesting. You can, you can uh, rotate your camera, yes, select, and make everything like in my previous tutorial. So I don't lose time for that. Only what I show you, I select now these three displacers and increase a high for 10, for example, something like that, and render again. And now I can see this straight line which is which is can be more beautiful but it's again depend from you so maybe I also like to make it a little bit dark and render so now now is now it's nice okay when you uh, render it when you're finish it it you will get like this result so one two three four five six seven eight nine zero all numbers and last should be something like that so now you can enter secret code some information which you will post for your players ah you see i use a four four woods okay but anyway uh, it's same idea i just show you some basic idea how to create it in cinema 4d so i am not stop anymore in cinema 4d we are finished it so after that take all the secret codes make a um, copy and going inside in our project folder so as you remember this is uh, unreal engine 4 tutorial games we are open that we are going for tutorial game uh, content texture and right click put it inside paste so we have it inside very nice okay jump back inside in our uh, jump back inside in our C uh, unreal engine and 11 posters coming inside so import it is coming so we are going for texture we are select all of them make right click going for edit and now we will check yeah as you can see it's coming also without a uh, stream so we are have to apply never stream something like that this we are checked that's correct that's correct we are don't change and now we will make it very fast i hope very fast not 10 minutes like before it's only it's only 11 new object so it will be more or less fast if you know how to select everything and apply one settings for everything more faster send me some comment it will be very big help for me because i don't know how to do it and playing this like a ping pong with my mouse okay we are finished uh what we uh, we are going to do now just a moment i don't know if i change for this last one yes i change so uh, now we are going for blueprints and we are create one more actor so we are going for one more actor blueprint uh, and we are calling it like a secret secret board something like this i don't know secret board yeah okay open that and what we will do inside inside in this secret board uh, just a moment 
uh, we, as you can see, we have a nothing. So here we have to create only one object. So we are going add component and we are add sprite. Add paper sprite. So we are call it board. Something like this. It's, it's enough. So take it. And as you remember, for everything, I have a size, I think 0 0.2, something like this. But really, now it doesn't matter. So that's all. We don't need to put nothing inside. We no need any event graph. So we are going inside. We can delete everything or don't use completely. We no need nothing, completely nothing. So just compile and close it. So we have these actors and we will call these actors little bit later. I will show you when and how to do it. Uh, what we will do now, now we have to make one, uh, how is calling one action, yes? We are going, you remember in some of my previous tutorials, we are created instance. So inside in the instance for a moment, we have only this sound on. You remember we are check it when we are play sounds or not play sound. So now we have to make one array. So how to do it and what to do? Uh, I like to make some integer, variable integer. So first of all, we are call it like a secret code, something like that. This will be a name. After that, we are going for Boolean and we are take an integer. But it will be not just a one number. It will be 12 different numbers. So uh, how to explain you more correct? Maybe I will take, I don't know, paint and just, just to show you some small graphics. So if I like to put some numbers, so I put, for example, one, two, three, four, something like this. Yes, I have only one number. Yes, it's four digits inside, but it's one number. But if I take array, I have one, two, three, four, but by the array, I have separate numbers. So I have four different numbers, but inside in one uh, variable. So if I create different variables, it should, it will be something like this. One variable, second variable, something like this. But if I create one variables and make these variables like array, yes, it means inside these variables, I can make a many, many different numbers. So I hope you understood what is going on, yeah? Uh, for this reason, I take this secret code and change here, you see, make this like array make something like that. Very nice. So, and what we will do? Uh, now we are inside in game instance and game instance haven't begin play. So if you put a uh, event, you can see you, ha you cannot find event begin play because begin play working only with some actors, but game instance start work automatically when you are just start your game. So, but you have very nice options, event init. It means it is first, when just start initialization of your game, this first what working. So, and I like in first time, give some information for my secret code. So how to do it and what to do it? We are take it and first of all, we are get it. Yes, first of all, if inside some information, we have to clear it. Just make like this. Start and clear. After that, we are take some loop. For, for loop. What is this? Uh, when we are going inside, we are make some action, loop body. And this is index zero. Now I put here uh, index 11. It means I call this loop 12 times. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and up to 11. It means I call this loop. How many times I call this loop? Uh, 12 times, yeah. So how to check it? For example, now we are going for... Um, I am closed for a moment, and we are going for... I don't know, my pawn, yeah? Something like that. Where is our begin play? Yeah, 
going for begin play and here we also call for loop we are call it like like this yes and we are call it 20 times we are call it 20 times and each time we are make a print string will be hello so i keep it five seconds something like that compile and play now coming game i start and you can see just a moment hello 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 and like this i have it 20 times so 20 times i call this print string it's mean it's coming here and 20 times make this operation yeah so by this way we are going uh, back to my instance and we are make some points so i make add add array so take this figure and what i add inside i take secret code get put it here okay and by this add figure i put inside in secret code some random number so i am going and make it random 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 integer in range put here something like that okay what i'm doing now now i'm going and make numbers so i have zero and last my number it's nine because uh, as you remember i save it for a, for a moment and as you remember somewhere here where is my texture i ha uh, i have zero one two three four five six and up to nine so different numbers for different array going back for my blueprint for my game instance and now we will check how it's working so we have it and i like to make some print string i am going for print string and i just as i remember i can do something like that uh, just to see what is going on so i start to play we are make it i don't know we are keep it something like uh, five seconds and we are make very red color to very visible save and play and as you can see i have zero one two three four five so i call already 11 times and in present moment i haven't any idea what is code yes what code i have but we can check it just a moment yeah uh, yeah sorry for a little bit delay i check in samsung yeah uh, uh we are record some secret code so we are put some numbers inside and how to check it i will show you in next tutorial also in next tutorial we are make some spawning of this secret object so again my game instance game instance this is like a blueprint which start work in beginning initialization when you are just start your game so for this reason we are create inside the secret code just to avoid any problem with other actors very nice so for a moment uh, for a moment my tutorial completed thank you very much for watching uh, don't forget to put like, subscribe, share with your friends and see you next time. Goodbye, friends.